a vlog but I think I might just say it's a vlog um maybe I might name it behind the scenes so yeah probably behind the scenes but anyways the point of this video is um I want to I wanted to come here to show you guys what my life consists of because I'm so busy okay so run down to this morning oh run down to this morning until now so this morning i went to work i was what this morning basically my entire day so i was at work from like 10 to 4 4 30 yeah 10 to 4 30 so i was at work all morning and afternoon and then I, I just went to um, Ulta and I just spent the check at Ulta like ugh. but anyways the reason why is because uh, about about like two almost three weeks ago I think it was three weeks three weeks ago someone broke into my car and I had did a client's makeup and I had my makeup bag my traveling makeup bag in the car and someone stole my makeup bag in my car and I was I was so pissed I was crying I haven't came on here and talked to you guys in so long so I'm just kind of giving you guys like the major stuff that happened in my life but yeah so basically I um someone broke into my car and stole all my makeup so I had spent a good amount of money on new makeup and then on top of that I needed to restock on makeup because being a makeup artist, um, I, especially if you're always busy, I restock up on makeup like every two weeks. The reason why I'm telling you this is because I went to Ulta. I just spent $600. Uh, I'll show you guys in a little bit what I bought. I'm driving right now. And then, oh my God! Your girl bought a new car. If you don't follow me on Instagram, where I am mostly on there all the time. I, you know, if you want to keep up with me, I am on, I am on Instagram. Uh, definitely follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. My Instagram is Nessa. I have it right here somewhere. But yes, I um, bought a new car. You guys don't understand how excited I am. Oh my god, I look so crazy. Don't mind me. I'm gonna fix my wig later, and you'll see that soon when I uh, get ready. Um, if you want to see a car tour, make sure you like this video. Period pool. Okay, first off, we always say period pool no more. So let me uh scratch that out. But anyways, uh yeah. So that happened. I bought a new car. About it's been about almost. Two weeks now. Next week will be two weeks. I've just been I've been so busy. Ugh. It's hard. Like I think I might show like it's just hard, you guys. It's hard because I work a lot, meaning I do a lot. I'm I'm a full-time makeup artist. And then having to do YouTube. I really, really want to get into YouTube, but it's really, really hard with my schedule. So yeah. What was I saying earlier? Oh, yeah, so I worked all day and then I went to Ulta and I spent. I got lost track so fast. But yeah, I spent like $600. So let me show you guys that before I get in my mama's house because I had to pick up my packages. So, um, I'm just gonna show you the stuff that I got. So, 
I bought Tarte concealers. As you guys know, this is one of my favorite concealers. I bought like 20 of them and that was, um, they were 50% off and you had to be, I think, a diamond or, um, what the? I think it was a diamond or exclusive member or something like that. So I was like, um, uh, let me check and see if I'm a one of those members because I'm like, I have an account here, but I, and I know I spent a lot of money here. It's my goal there. And I was, but I didn't have the email, but they was able to give it to me. Thank you so much for the girls at Ulta for helping me out. I appreciate you guys. Um, I had to buy hair oil. So this hair oil is the Argan oil. I know you guys probably seen it. Focus. You guys probably seen it in my, um, my hair tutorial with the curly, the batty girl with the curls. I use this oil. Super good. Super good. And then, okay, so I like Tarte concealers, but I was like, let me try something new because Tarte's expensive. And I just want, I, I want to try, like, new concealers to see if I can find something better, which I'm probably not. But it's just, you know, it's nice to try new stuff. But anyways, I got the um, the Morphe concealers. I never tried these before, so I want to try them out on my clients. And my lips are crusty. Um, I bought new tweezers. Um, and these were expensive. I think these were like $23. But basically, I bought new tweezers because I'm adding a, a new service to my... Uh, a new service. I'm gonna start doing eyebrows and waxing eyebrows. Why does it look like her you know, bro? Um, what else? Oh yeah, I bought um this sponge. Okay, so I want to try this sponge. I think I'm gonna do a video, uh, a makeup video with this sponge. This sponge, this sponge works so good. It basically it feels like a blanket to me, like a smooth blanket. Oh my god, is this a powder sponge? Hold on, I think I bought the wrong one. Hmm. I don't know. I gotta go see. Okay, I have to see. I have another one at the shop. I think this is the right one. But anyways, it's like a base. It's a it's a better sponge than the beauty blenders because I feel like beauty blenders. When I use too much concealer, it takes off too much concealer. I don't know. Anyways, I bought lip glosses. Uh, mind you guys, this is all for my clients. I um uh, I needed all new stuff because I'm running out of stuff. And then I bought lip liners from you know la girl i want to try la girl's lip liners i bought brow stuff from la girl i brought oh my god my favorite brow stuff right now you guys i'm gonna show you guys is the um the morphe ones when i tell you guys these are so bomb the majority of the stuff that was expensive was the tarte concealer because i bought about, i bought about 20 of them and then i bought the um uh, the NARS concealer, I mean NARS foundation. I bought one, but it doesn't focus. But I bought this NARS concealer. I bought one already, but I think it's too it's it is too light for me. And I bought a darker one, so maybe I can mix them. But it, I mean, I bought a lot of the same stuff. If that makes sense, like I bought a whole bunch of concealers. I bought a whole bunch of brows stuff from different brands. Cause I'm really I run out the fastest. I mean, if you're a makeup artist, you know that I you know that you run out the fastest is brow stuff. And I've been using brow pencils, so I run out of brow pencils so fast. So I had to make sure I was stocked up on all the colors that I like. You run out of concealer really fast. You run out of foundations really fast. I actually am not. I have haven't run out of foundation yet because the last time I went, which was like about a month ago or two months ago, about a month ago or three weeks ago. I uh, bought new foundation already, so I know that I need, didn't need to suck up on that. But I run out, of, I run out of brow stuff and concealers the fastest, so I always stock up on a lot, a lot, a lot of concealers. And then now I am at my mom's house. I'm getting my packages. I'm about to show you guys behind the scenes of me. Um, taking pictures and getting ready for kind of like a mini photo shoot but it's mostly for um my sister's clothes so i model for my sister's clothes she has a clothing boutique kind of thing but it's all on instagram if you ha don't follow my sister her name is jelly gels with two s's i'll have it sprinkled her somewhere but definitely check her out she sh does ship um 
nationwide so check her out she has some bomb stuff so yeah definitely follow her mm. but yeah i just been like i don't want to say i've been busy but i've been busy i have been busy because i work and then i had to model for clothes i model for actually for um my friend tanisha and my sister jelly's clothes and then on top of that i do makeup classes i try to do makeup videos for you guys i try to keep that updated but i've been kind of slack and i actually have like two videos that i have to edit but it's just like i be so tired and then i just did a makeup me a youtube class too so a youtube seminar so yeah i just been busy it's just like i feel like if busy was a person it'll be me like i i'm always busy i'm always on the go i'm always doing something and yeah so that's my life well let me go run and get these packages and then i'll talk to you guys in a little bit so i'm back um basically what i was saying is just like i wish there was two of me that's all i'm saying i just wish there was two of me because I'm exhausted. I really want to take like a whole, um, I really want to take a month off, but I already know that I'm not going to feel the best if I take a month off because when the quarantine started happening, I had, you know, yes, I had a quarantine for a month and I was very depressed, but I'm trying not to complain about being busy because I'd rather be busy than not busy. Sorry, my camera's all over the place. I forgot my little tripod. I actually need to order a new one because the old one I, I got, that's what I don't like me anymore. Wowzers. The roads. It's terrible here. But yeah, I need to schedule like a full body massage or some girl. Like, yeah. <sighs> I definitely overwork myself. I overwork myself 100% on my way to the shop now because that's where i take my pictures at from my sister but anyways how are you guys doing um i haven't talked to you guys in such a long time she guys so much um it's been a year since i've been on youtube and i can't believe it um but yeah i miss you guys so much comment below tell me how you guys are doing what's been up what's new my battery's about to die so i will talk to you guys when i get uh to the shop once my battery charge so see you in a little bit once i'm glam and my hair is done what you guys laughing at so, oh but anyways i am currently getting dressed for the little mini photo shoots and I'm basically recording a little bit of it for you guys, but I'm in my second outfit. The first outfit was, oh shit, it was the same exact outfit as this, but it was gray. <laughs> and these hoes are laughing at me. Let me turn the lights on. Okay. So, I just got done, um, as you've seen, I didn't get a lot of it because I kind of was rushing the photo shoots. Not technically rushing, but I was, I just didn't want to be there all night. I was, I'm so tired. So, I've been at work since 10 and it's 10.30. So, yeah. I'm about to give me something to eat because I haven't ate, like, I kid y'all not, I did not eat all day. I had a cup of coffee. Is it even open? I don't think they're open. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. So. They're yelling at me. Say they're closed. I know, honey. I'm, I'm turning around. I'm leaving out of the thing. People be so aggressive. I think that taking pictures is easy i promise you guys it's not i'm not saying it just like taking pictures for like 
clothes is very hard. That's why I like my doing my try on hauls. They take forever. Be just the fact that I had to constantly focus. I constantly had to like try outfit on, take it off, shoes, hair, jewelry, this, that, another. So, oh, it's not fucking focus. Focus, low whore. But basically what I was saying is that people always think like, oh, you could just take pictures for clothes. That's super easy. So much fun. Yeah, it's fun, but it takes fucking forever. Forever. Like, why do they have so much construction going on? This is why I'm driving super slow. And people in my city don't know how to drive. So if you're from Milwaukee or ever drove in Milwaukee, you'll know. Especially if you're in the inner city. Like, what the fuck? Uh. So, yeah. Hey, guys. I'm back. Um, So, it's been a few days since I did the little photo shoot thing for my sister. And, yeah, it's Sunday. So, I'm just in a crib chilling, smoking hookah. Um... We were just chilling what I did today. We went to Chicago. I didn't really get to court it, but we just went to Chicago to get something to eat. And we got Raisin Cane's. Yeah. And then, that's about it. I want to show you guys me, I want to show you guys me opening up my packages. So I got like a whole bunch of stuff from Target and Pretty Little Things and some other websites. I think I got some stuff from Fashion Nova. I'm about to actually edit a video because I did a makeup tutorial video and it's about two weeks old and I have to edit it so I've been kind of slacking but we're gonna get it together so um yeah I'm about to show you guys my little kind of mini haul but it's a lot of stuff I'll show you guys so this is all the stuff it looks like it's a lot of stuff but it's really not so we'll start with what's in the Ikea bag um, I opened some of these packages already. It's kind of all over the place, but this is what I got from Fashion Nova. It's just like a little corset, cheetah print kind of top. It was super cute. I wore it to like a, a brunch with some jeans. And then I got this from Fashion Nova too. And then I opened it and it has a stain on it. Um, I probably try to get it out myself. But hopefully it comes out. I think the stain came from the metal, like inside the metal. I don't know. I feel like it rusted or something. So that's from Pretty I Mean Fashion Nova. And then I bought this top. Because you guys know like these crop tops. That's corsets. They got the little detailing for the cleavage. Is in. And I got this from Miss Lola Boutique. Or Miss Lola.com. And then I got some Adidas workout shorts because I feel like when I buy workout clothes, it makes me want to work out. And then I got this Nike long sleeve. Oh, this is like a crop um, crew neck. And I got it like super big. And then I went a little crazy on Target's website because a lot of the stuff... On the website, well, on their app, they don't have it in store. Because I, I really like their leggings and their t-shirts. Especially, like, you know, like this to wear with, like, my sweatpants and stuff. So, I got black leggings, but this is basically what it is. Um, these leggings are okay. I think they were, I want to say I bought them for, like, 10 bucks. But I personally like, um, Forever 21's leggings a lot better. So I, I end up ordering a whole bunch just because I know, you know, in the fall time, we like to, I like to wear leggings, so I had to buy like 100 pairs, so I did buy a lot. Um, the only thing I don't like about these is, you know how like the banner here, it's a little smaller. I like, prefer, I prefer a thicker band, like for example, these right here, these are a different, different one. I think this is from the brand, um, the brand Wild Fable from target as well i like their clothes a lot but you know how like theirs they have a more thicker band it goes from like here and this is a little band 
I can't really tell because they're both black. But I prefer a thicker band. But then I end up getting these two. I like these, but the only thing is that it's not tight around my, around my waist. So I have to constantly keep pulling them up. Honestly, I like um, Forever 21 leggings a lot better. And they're cheaper. Because I think, yeah, the, the Wild Fable one is $8 or $7. For seven dollars but i like like i said i like to wear them in the fall slash winter especially to work if i don't want to put on sweatpants what else i guess i'm trying to get i ordered a lot of stuff because it's just everyday clothes so i bought this crew neck it looks huge but it's purple and i end up buying this in an extra large and it has like a little pink heart I hope I bought the matching pants. I don't think I did. I don't think they had matching pants. I bought a different pair of type of leggings. It's from the A New Day collection that's at Target. Because I'm trying to find like the right leggings. If that makes sense. Like you know like you have to find like the right like you have to have like the right perfect fit leggings. These are actually really good quality. Target do have really good quality leggings. I can say that. And, th and then um... I bought face masks too. I bought a whole bunch because I wear them to work. And when I work, I'm always, I always have makeup on my hand. I always touch my mask. And I always end up getting makeup on. So I bought like a whole bunch of face masks. I opened one up already. And I like these a lot too because you could reuse them and you could wash them. I need to get jackets. That's what I really need. And I think I might get jackets from Pretty Little Things. I like Pretty Little Things jackets. Um... Because they're like cute and like fashionable still, but they're still comfortable. And I end up buying these. So basically it's the same thing as this, but it's a v-neck. I like to do these because I want to wear it with like leggings or like jeans. And then wear like a cardigan or a flannel on top of it. Because I've been into flannels. A flannel? Yeah, I've been into them for the fall. So, oh yeah, I actually bought one from ASOS. But it's in the washer. And it's a red one. So yeah, I kind of... Went crazy with the t-shirts. Okay, so I think that's it for targets. And then we're on to pretty little things. So pretty little things. Um I know I, I bought this stuff during Labor Day. And um that a big sell, so I figured I'll take advantage of it. Okay, so we'll start off with this bag. This one's just a charcoal one that says pretty little things on there. And then I think I bought the matching pants. So I think these are the matching pants. Like I said, I like to wear sets. I like to wear sets with like, so I could just throw it on. Same thing for like jumpsuits. I like wearing jumpsuits, especially in the fall. Perfect. It has the jawstring. I really like these. But I ended up buying the matching pants to go with it. So I bought this hoodie. And I bought it super big too. Because I feel like pretty little things, their stuff kind of shrinks. But it says worldwide. And it's this in the middle. This is a crew neck as well. This is just a black long sleeve crew neck that says Calabasas in the back. I thought this was cute. Just a plain crew neck to wear with my black leggings. I got from Target. So I always go up a size in my hoodies. And I think, yeah, these are the matching pants. The only thing I don't like about Pretty Little Things sweatpants is they're not like thick. They're like pretty thin. But we'll still make it work <clears throat> and then i bought a blue flannel i thought this would be cute because right now it's it's cold in milwaukee but it's still like a little sunny and there's like days where it's still a little warm that you don't have to wear a jacket but you can't wear short sleeves so i want to do like short sleeve like layering stuff up i think that'd be cute wear blue like this so i figure i'll buy blue okay so i had to adjust it a little bit i don't have my camera stand to my car so I bought a hoodie. It just says California on it. A little better. So then I ended up getting this crop zip up hoodie. I thought this was super cute. I have so many of these, but I love these sweatpants from Pretty Little Things. Pretty Little Things has some really. They have shitty ones, but at the same time, they have good ones. So I ended up getting the gray ones. This has Pretty Little Things on here. Oh, this is cute. When I seen this t-shirt, I was like, oh my god, I need this. 
this is. And then I bought some white sweatpants. These are really nice too. Let me um throw this trash away and show you guys the aftermath. See, I'm about to throw these away, so I'll be right, right back. And then I forgot that I did buy some shoes from Shimmy. I did wear them already, but. So I bought these heels from Shimmy. Um, everybody's been asking me on Instagram where I got my shoes from. These shoes, I posted a picture of them and everyone like was like, where did you get your shoes from? I got it from Shimmy. And then I bought the same one, but in nude. And this is more of like a patent leather. And this one was more of like a, a snake texture. They're both super cute. I think the new ones are a tad bit higher. I think. Yeah, it is. If you can tell. They don't look like it, but, but the nude ones is higher. And um, the new ones is so cute. So, yeah, that's basically all the stuff that I bought. Um, usually around this time and like the beginning of summer or right before summer is when I kind of go crazy with the shopping just because the seasons changes the you know fashion changes whatever so yeah and then that's about it that's what I've been doing but yes I had to now hang up and fold these clothes and I just folded a whole bunch of clothes earlier because I just did laundry that's all I'm doing for the rest of the night. It's Sunday, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace. Hey, you guys. It's the next day. Um, I had a late start this morning. It's 12.30. I just got done with the post office. I hate, I hate going to the post office because, especially on Mondays, it's super busy. Um... And then on top of that, like, I ha we had a lot of orders to ship out. I am going to get some coffee. I'm tired. So tired. That's because me and Kevin, we didn't... Last night when I was talking to you guys, it was like 1 o'clock already. And I um, didn't go to bed till 3. Oh, shoot. I have to go to the bank. Go to the bank first. Let me... I'm pulling up to my bank right now, so... Let me get that situated. And then... I'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, so we're back in action. Um, I just went to Starbucks, and of course, you know it's fall time, and uh, your girl had to get a pumpkin spice latte. Um, yeah, I got a hot coffee. I usually don't drink. I don't even drink hot coffee no more. But I'm on. Let me. It's the time of the month, and. I need something hot for my belly so I decided to get a hot coffee and yeah so. so yeah I'm on my way back to the shop now and um then I'm going home just relaxing today because I work a lot so and then I'm kind of vlogging so let's talk okay so um I met so I did this like YouTube seminar kind of thing to help people like in my local city help them grow and you know give them pointers on what to do for YouTube and how to get paid so it was about like 10 people that came to that class and people like one of the girls there was like um she was like it's so crazy because i was talking to people before i met you and people used to be like oh nessa's stuck up nessa thinks this she, she's this nessa thinks she's that woo -doo -woo -doo -woo, you know and uh she and when i did my class you know i'm a very nice person like i don't think like i'm better than anyone i i literally I help everybody grow I'm very humble I feel like I'm a very humble person like just because it's just I just feel like with being cocky and stuff like that and thinking you're the shit and you know just thinking you're better than people like I feel like God could take that away from you within a blink of an eye so that's why I try to be very humble and I try to help everybody out as much as I can and 
just being a nice person. I'm a, I'm a nice person. I feel like everyone that meets me, they, they, they're like, oh my god, you're actually really, really nice. But anyways, long story short, the girl basically told me that she was just like, you know, people... She said there is people that like say this and that about you. I was just like, you know, I don't, I honestly don't care. But I just feel like those type of people that talk bad about me or say that I'm this, saying that I'm that is, I feel like those people are the people that want to be my friends, and they just can't because they find me. They, I don't know, I don't know what it is. I don't even put myself out there that I'm just like this person that thinks they're all that. I don't even. I don't even think I'm all that. Like, it's so crazy to me, like, when people be like, oh my God, you're famous. I'm not famous. I I consider myself just a regular person and I don't think I'm like this or that or anything. Like, I, I don't know, it's just crazy to me that people really like sit there people that don't even know me that never even have a conversation with me literally sit there and tell other people like yeah ness is this ness is that ness i think she's a shit blah 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 whatever whatever and i'm just like you don't even know me if you get to know me and like sit down and talk to me you'll actually like me i'm like a really nice person i'm very helpful i try to inspire every single person that I talk to I, I try to inspire everyone especially for my girls that you know take my makeup classes I always inspire them to do better keep working hard the same thing for um for YouTube like all the people that took my YouTube class I'm like you guys have to work hard don't ever 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 take a break because when you take a break off it something that you're trying to achieve it just takes a longer process and then on top of that it's just like you'll keep on being like oh I'll do it next year I'll do it next month I'll do it tomorrow it's just like why why wait so I always try to inspire everyone I literally feel like being inspirational is just like it just feels good like I love making people feel good but anyways I am at the shop now that's my little ramp and I forgot my damn battery at the house and my camera is about to die hey everyone and welcome back so it's been a few days since I recorded sorry but you know there's gonna be like a long vlog so i just got done getting botox and stuff and um i didn't record it but yeah it's on my instagram um of me getting botox and it explains like you know like what i did or why i got it done or whatever so definitely check it out and my instagram is at emmywaynessa but yes so I am um, on my way to work so I have a one-on-one -on -one today um, I really didn't have much plan oh my god let me over you asshole so what I was saying earlier was okay so I do explain in my um, on my video why I get Botox but let me tell you why I get Botox like hold on sorry are you guys i've been living in milwaukee for damn near like my entire life and i still use my gps do you guys do the same because bitch i do not know my way around like okay once i get on the fr once i get on the freeway it's like i don't know but um how to get on the freeway from like the side or small streets or whatever streets i don't know how to get on the freeway that makes sense but yeah anyway so um people always ask like why do you get botox you're so young like so people always ask me like why do you get botox you're so young only old people get botox no so the reason why i get botox is because i grind my teeth very bad at night and when i was i, I always done this like when i was a little kid like it just so I always grind my teeth when I was younger. Like it's never was like a like it. I just just didn't start. Like it's it's been happening for a very long time. So ever since I was a kid, I always had it. I feel like it was a genetic thing because my dad 
grinds his teeth really bad at night and I hated how my face looked like my face was huge I had really I already have like really big cheeks but my cheeks were huge like my jaw was huge so I always was like complaining about that and then on top of that like when you grind your teeth at night you get really really bad headaches in the morning and I would wake up and I would feel like my he my head would feel like kind of heavy and I would feel like I just had like a really bad headache and I'm like why do I have a headache and I just woke up that's why I don't like taking naps because I grind my teeth and I will wake up with a bad headache and I'll take a nap for only like 30 minutes to an hour but I'll be grinding my teeth the entire time while I'm asleep and I will wake up with a bad headache there is no way of uh, stopping your grinding your teeth um because i was actually wearing like a mouth guard and that shit didn't work and on top of that who wants to sleep with a mouth guard on and why would you want to be next to your man with a mouth guard on like i just uh, like i'd be watching in movies and i'm just like i would never put on a motherfucking mouth guard while i'm sleeping right next to my man so yeah um that's why i get botox and then on top of that i'm getting older i'm 25 they do say that getting botox is better when you get it when you're younger because then it prevents like the lines to get deeper if that makes sense like you know how when you get older your wrinkles you know how older people they wrinkles get a little deep or whatever and uh if you get it when you're younger it just prevents the lines from getting so deep when you get older if that makes sense so there's different types of like cosmetic surgeries or whatever. Um, I actually want to try the Ky Kybella. So basically what the Kybella is, is it is, um, it's a fat burner basically. And I have seen people put this like underneath their chin. Cause you know, people will want to get rid of the double chin. And I actually want to try it cause a baby girl, I got a double chin on. And then on top of that, you know how you have that little fat that's hanging on your armpits? People get it there too. I seen a girl in New York get it there. So I was like, I want to get that done. Because, you know, when you wear halter tots, your, like, skin hangs over. Especially under your armpits. And that's not cute. Alright. So, um, this is a few days after for the vlog. Um... I just got done dropping off Jada to volleyball practice and I am on my way home now but I wanted to come here and talk about okay so so I'm from Milwaukee Wisconsin and this girl named Lakithia I believe she got signed to quality control and stuff like that just makes me so happy that like anybody can literally be where they want to be in life if they want to be like for example i know she's been working hard she got signed to quality controls like what that's crazy i'm so happy for you if you are watching this video honey i literally like it makes me want to cry almost really it makes me so happy um just to see people from my city like just become like you know just on top if that makes sense and in the city of milwaukee milwaukee's pretty small and i love my city don't get me wrong i love my city but it's just like with milwaukee it's only you can only grow so much here so i'm really happy to happy for you homegirl if you are watching this video like i said i'm so happy for you i wish the nothing but the best for you like you deserve it it's it just makes me so happy like there's like i when i first when she first um posted this like you know with uh her signing to quality controls i literally was about to cry because it just it makes me so happy like from especially if you're from milwaukee you'll know like milwaukee like i said milwaukee is very small sometimes you know people have haters if you're big and popular in milwaukee it's like people feel like oh you're just people be thinking like oh you think you're all that blah 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 like um like for example like for me people always be like oh people only come to you because you're popular like honey 
six years ago i was not popular six years ago i was working i'm still working hard like dang like i feel like people would just be like oh nessa thinks she's this nessa thinks she's that and i think i said this in a if not in this vlog but um it's just like sometimes i feel like milwaukee is such like it's a city where a lot of people hate and a lot of people hate growth if that makes sense and i'm so happy for you girl i'm so happy for lakeithia to like get out of milwaukee and grind and get what she want like what she wanted like it's it's so crazy and like i said it just it really like honestly ooh, it's bumpy. it really honestly makes me so happy and i'm so happy for you and i just want to encourage like everyone to do good like keep on working work hard to get to where you want to go because at the end of the day shit is not going to be handed to you it's not going to be like it's, it's not going to be handed to you like for me i nothing was handed to me if you guys knew my story of when i how i was growing up i am here because i work hard i am here and the position that i am is because i went through so i went through so much shit that it's just like i work hard so that i don't have to experience the stuff that i went through when i was growing up let me i'm not trying to cry because it's just like you know um people come people come from like you know people grow up differently so it's just like me i know how it is i know how it i know how it is growing up struggling so since i, I was old enough to be since i was old enough to get a job i just literally um been grinding i grind i was grinding so hard like it's just um i just don't and don't ever want to experience living and struggling like how i did when i was growing up so that's why i feel like a lot of people don't understand how like where i come from and how i made it to where i'm at now people will be like you're people i don't want to say people think i'm cock people don't say that i'm cocky people just say that i think i'm all that and that i don't reply back to people but that's why i have a booking site but yeah that's why i um I feel like people just I feel like people don't know me and it's just like yeah I get it like you know I have people be like you have this many followers on Instagram you're famous you think you're famous and then there's haters that be like people only come to you because you're you're known and you're yeah why wouldn't they why wouldn't why wouldn't they come to me like and I feel like you know I really don't even um I really don't even like pay attention to people that be talking stuff like people only come to you because you're popular blah, 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 blah. yeah why wouldn't they i work hard to get to where i'm at and i feel like people don't understand that people just think like oh well since you're known now uh you just think you're all that like no i don't i'm actually a very humble person i feel like a lot of people would be like nessa stuck up and this and that i think for me i feel like scorpio's oh this road right here is so bad but i feel like for scorpios we just have this natural like resting bitch face people be like you be looking like you're mad no i don't be mad i just be resting bitch face like and i need to work on that because i try not to look mean but people be like you be looking so mean and i just i try not to be because once you get to talk it to me it's like um you know everybody be like you're so cool you're so sweet like when you talk yeah i know um but yeah i try to be as friendly as i possibly can and i think it's oh yeah i did say it because i did a youtube class and people were saying like yeah people think you're stuck up i'm not stuck up i'm probably like i'm i'm very humble i'm a very humble person i know that i am one and i try not to make it seem like i'm better than other people or, or anything i never i never was raised to be like that anyways and like i said people i feel like people don't understand me and the people that know me now that since i'm known they're just like oh nessa thinks she's all that because she thinks she's famous and blah, blah. you guys i promise you guys i do not think i'm famous i still think i'm just a regular person i don't i don't see myself being famous or whatever 
whatever they want to call it my sisters and then they'd be like you're famous like my cousins and they'll be like you're famous like i'm not famous yeah but people be like you're famous i mean yeah my name for sure it, you know it holds a lot of weight here in my city but i don't think i'm famous but i'm very thankful for where i'm at i'm thankful for god for blessing me and i'm thankful for god for blessing me with all the stuff that i have accomplished because whoa that lady's wig was crazy i never really understood the the when people be like oh people only go to you because you're popular why wouldn't they you know i feel like people be like oh this person's underrated people only go to nessa because she's popular blah 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 yeah why wouldn't they honestly yeah but like i was saying it's just like i don't know i feel like people just be hating and just be coming with shit just to say something like i said i feel like the people that be talking stuff is the people they feel like they just want to be my friend and it's okay i want to be friends too i rather have friends than enemies or haters like i was saying work hard i want i i try like i said i try to inspire everyone i want everyone to work hard to uh i want everyone to work hard it just feels good to be able to work hard and and your hard work gets paid off at the end always always remember that working hard pays off it literally pays off hey you guys um it's a few days after i recorded my hair is so greasy um from the last clip but i don't know if you guys know i don't know if you guys updated your phones yet but i just updated my phone and i literally spent like over an hour because i have you know i have two phones so i spent over an hour trying to get my phone like the little gadgets and stuff on there to look good so let me show you guys oh yeah i'm doing a little work in with you know youtube video ideas we got this going on right here but yeah let me show you guys my um it's bright it's dark okay so let me show you guys my phones and show you guys what i did to them because so cute so this right here this phone that i have i bought this cute case from velvet caviar and uh, i put the money as my screensaver because it's my money phone not just kidding but this is my work phone but this is my new like uh layout of it i think this is so cute i love the way they did it so I only got 83 to 85 dollars in my cash app <laughs> but anyways um so i have like this little cute calendar the weather you know i got a cute picture of me the theme i wanted to do for my phone is like black and white and then i still feel like i need to edit it more because i really don't want none of these like little apps things right here because at the end of it it has it all right here anyways so i think i might end up removing like all these little apps okay but anyways so this is the f this is what my screen looks like right when i open it focus my um screen when i open it and then when you slide it over this is the other one i got the little heart right here i got this little thing that says damn you fly as hell and then this is my third page and i did it like you know black and white i did the good vibes the little buddha the locust flower and then, you know, like I said, I was playing around with it. So, yeah, this is my work phone. Let me know if you guys want me to do a video on how I did my, you know, my screen, my, my phone. So, this is my other phone. This is my personal phone. Um, the same thing, I have the calendar out. I really like this because I always click my calendar to figure out what day it is what's the date so i like that i i like this right here and then you know i like to always look at if it's hot outside if it's cold outside because 
it helps me decide on what I'm going to wear. And then I have this picture of me and my family. And then this right here is just like, you know, the same thing. Um, what I had on the other phone. And then this one, I really didn't put too much effort in it. Because this, like I said, this is my regular phone. This is my personal phone. And on the last page, I got pictures of me and Kevin on the top. And then again, me and my sisters, my mom. And then like I said, the last page, it has like all the apps all my apps anyway so i think i might just end up i think i might just end up removing all of these off my regular one and just have it in here i actually have to delete some apps oh yeah and then so i have been had an ipad but i never really used it and i'm putting this ipad to use now and then my sister gave me her apple pen so yeah, this is some of the ideas. I probably might have these up after this vlog. And then uh, this is the um, the iPad. So I really like the iPad. So the iPad, this is how the iPad looks. The same thing. Oop. The same thing. And then, uh, you know, pictures of me, Kevin, and the girls. The only thing I don't like about the update for the iPad is that I can't move these pictures and put them on like this screen so but yes um like I said if you want me to make a video of how I did my whole like home screen thing let me know in the comments below I wanted to do it but I wanted to see what you guys what your guys thoughts were because I know for me it was hard at first but then once I got the hang of it um it was pretty easy. I feel like my because my sister uh, Jada was the one that showed me how to do it and work it. So once I got to playing with it, it actually was a lot easier than how she explained it to me. So yeah. And I'm gonna end this vlog here. Um, oh, I look a mess. So yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I really didn't do much. I really don't do much. I really just work and that's about it. And yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Oh yeah. I think I might. No. Actually no. But yeah. this That is it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was kind of like all over the place. But you know there were certain days that I was recording. And certain days that I wasn't recording. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below. And please do not forget to subscribe. Put the notification. Hit the little notification bell. Thing. Um, but yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Um, peace out.